Got another question on the transition elements topic. So we're up to number 11. The link to the questions in the description of the video. So click on that. Try the questions and then play the video for the answers. Okay, so the first part of A. So there's the electron configuration for vanadium in its zero oxidation state, i.e. the element. So this can help us explain why vanadium is a d-block element. So the electrons highlighted, the 3d3 electrons, they are the highest energy electrons and they are in a d subshell. So it's d-block because its highest energy electrons are in a d subshell. Moving on to the fact that it's a transition element, so I'm going to use the electron configuration for the V2 plus ion. You'll notice we've lost the 4s2 electrons, so this is the configuration. So why is that class as a transition element? Because vanadium is able to form an ion with an incomplete D subshell. Remember, D subshells can hold up to 10 electrons. It's only got three in, so it's partially filled or incomplete. Next one, we've got to balance the two half equations and then combine them to come up with the overall redox reaction. You'll notice I've rubbed out the electrons, so there should be a plus E minus there and there. I've taken them out because the way I like to uh, construct half equations um, involves putting the electrons in last. So it'll make my explanation a bit easier if they're not there to start with. You can do it via the oxidation number method. I'm not a massive fan of that. You can use it, but I prefer the method I'm going to show you now. Okay, so we'll make a start. So the first thing you do using the electrons in last method is balance the atoms. So we've got 1V, 1V, they're fine. Three O's, so we need a three in front of that. That's introduced six H's, and so therefore we're going to need six H pluses. And now we're going to balance the charge by using electrons. So at the moment, the overall charge on the left is five plus, and on the right, it's two plus. So we need to use electrons to bring this 5 plus charge down to 2 plus, so we need 3. The other half equation, dead easy, 1 zinc, 1 zinc, they're fine. There's no oxygens or hydrogens to worry about, so it's literally just the electrons now. No charge on the left, but we've got 2 plus on the right. So we need to bring this charge down to 0, 2 electrons needed. So to come up with the overall equation, we just need to get the electrons to be the same on either side. So in this case, it's going to be 6. So if we multiply this half equation by 2, this one by 3, and then add them together, the electrons will cancel out and we'll be left with the overall equation. Part B now about platinum. So you'll notice I've highlighted the Roman 2 there. So that's telling us that the platinum is in its plus 2 oxidation state. Or you think of it as a plus 2 ion. The two ammonis don't have any charge and neutral, and these two chloride ligands are negative one each. So you can see that these charges are going to balance each other out, so no overall charge. Next part, these two label diagrams for the two stereoisomers of platinum. So obviously we're talking about transplatin and cisplatin. Just to explain the difference. So in transplatin, the identical ligands are 180 degrees apart, so if we reference the ammonias, 180 degrees apart, likewise for the chlorides, whereas in the cis isomer, the identical ligands, so there's the ammonias there, they're 90 degrees apart, likewise the chlorides are as well. So how have I shown clearly the atoms involved in bonding? It's the Basically, it's the way you draw your ammonia molecules, so obviously the N is the atom that's bonding to the central platinum 2 plus ion via a pair of electrons. So it's coordinate bonding, basically what we're after here. Um, I'll write that up in a second. Just be careful here, that's what they're gonna be looking at. So it's the nitrogen that must be bonded to the platinum. So this ammonia on the left here needs to be drawn like that. Made it easy for myself by putting the ammonias on the right hand side of this one. But if you put them there, you'd have had to draw them like that. NH3, NH3. So there's the answer about the bonding. So I'm saying ligands are bonded via coordinate bonds. So you could say date of covalent bonds there. And I'll just qualify that. That's done by donating an electron pair to the platinum 2 plus. And finally, the action of one of the stereoisomers of platinum in the treatment of cancer. So it's the cis isomer that's used in um, cancer treatment. 
It's the correct shape to bind to the DNA of cancer cells and that prevents them from dividing and replicating any further. So the big seven marker to finish, so you'll notice I've written up there the complex ion that is present in all aqueous copper 2 ions. That's the hexa aqua copper 2 plus ion. So you'll notice I've used a blue pen there for that because it is blue. So what are we going to see? We'll start with the sodium hydroxide reaction. So that blue solution due to this ion here will go to a pale, you don't have to say pale, blue precipitate and you can either give the complicated formula or the simplified formula. It's a precipitation reaction, bit of a giveaway there, and you could either give the full equation, which looks like that, or you can give the simple equation, which looks like that. And finally, the reaction with concentrated hydrochloric acid. So that blue solution, remember, due to this ion here, goes to a yellow solution. You could get away with saying green. I'll explain why it can look green in a second. So blue solution to yellow or green solution, and that's due to the formation of this complex of copper. There it is there in the equation. Uh, that's a ligand substitution reaction. So the water ligands are substituted by these four chloride ligands. That's the only equation you can give for this. So if this was in its pure form, it's yellow. Often you've got the yellow and some of this left over, which is blue, and that's where that green solution comes from. So the exam board will allow either of those colours for that.